So soon, very, very soon is the World Cup, right? And one of the things that you should do is predictions. Who is going to win? And I am sure you have Googled that Excel file that will give you the predictions and, and will help you, you know, and your teams uh, predict. I have a better solution for you. How about we do it in Power Up? I have a solution that you will implement in like 10 minutes. Curious? Stay tuned. So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Osuelo from Curva.com for those of you that are new to the channel. Hello. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an app with Power Apps for uh, predicting the results of the World Cup. And here is the cool thing about it. Number one, I didn't build the app. We are going to install an app that somebody else built and I'm going to show you how to do that. So in 10 minutes you're going to get a Power BI app where you and your colleagues or friends or family can predict World Cup. That is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you how to do that and make sure you use it. The, the app is so beautiful. I'll show it at the end. Okay, let's start. I'll see you at the end. Okay, so let's see how we do this. It says World Cup 2018 prediction for uh, Power Apps. And if you go down here, you will find a link to a uh, instruction of how to do this. And this is basically what we're going to follow to install the, this thing, okay? So the first thing you need to do, let's open it in the new window. Here we have, uh, you have to have uh, download the package, make sure you do. Confirm that you are a licensed user of Power Apps, so just log in in Power Apps and see if you have access to it. Otherwise you can uh, set up a trial thing. Install the Power Apps and Flow mobile applications. And then you have to create a new environment for apps. This is um, especially if you have an old account like I had. I, I don't have it. I don't know. Mine is like one or two years old. I don't know. One and a half. Anyhow, um, we need to have the new environment. This um, CDS. So it says uh, go to admin power apps and everything opens in the same window which is a pity let's do that again i have it on the my other screen so it says go into admin power apps in the web browser and uh, you might be prompted to sign in we do have an account so it says click on new environment and then it says give it a new name we're going to call it um, I, I don't know, Kerbal CDS, something, whatever, Europe Environment Trial, why not, Create Environment. So do you want to create a database? Yes, we do. Select the currency. Swedish grounds, the language, please, in English. Um, include sample. I'm guessing that we create the database. Let's see what happens. Environment. So this is our new um, environment, basically. Now, as you can see here, it says that it's provision in the database. And before we can actually install this app, we need to provision, you know, to let it finish. So I'm going to let it finish and then I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, so um, as you can see now, we have our is instance ready so we are going to import the solution that um, that this uh, 
I think it's a Microsoft employee uh, made. Okay, so for that, we are on this step. I'll show you. There, we'll finish provisioning the database, and now we click on web. Oh. Come on. I just want to have the document open. Uh, we so now it says click canvas down here choose a design mode no model driven there we have it so canvas model driven and then uh, let's see what else we do click advance advance where do you see any advance Okay, so I don't see advanced because I have to change, of course, my environment to the new environment. Now I see advanced. And then it says remove everything after .com. No, 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 no. I, I have to let it load first. <laughs> so let's let it load first. And now remove everything after .com. And then navigate to settings solutions. And now we have to go to import solution, choose file. And we're going to choose the game package, I think it was called. And now click next. The solution is invalid. Just a sec. Okay, so this is what you need to do. You need to unzip this thing. We're going to, I'm guessing the CDS solution package. And this we have the World Cup. So if we go back and we try to import it again. This is the first time I do it, huh? so <laughs> hopefully it will go away. It says select the compressed zip file. Oh, okay. This one, I guess. Next. Changes applied by importing. Unmanaged solution cannot be installed. Do not install the solution if you want to roll back these changes. Uh, we import. So let's see if it finishes importing. This is super cool that we can actually import power apps. Importing solution, uh, publish all customizations. Very good guide, actually. Very, very good guy. So click close and refresh. Now it says go to settings, go to matches. I guess it's one of the things that we just created. And then import data. Choose file. I'm guessing this is matches default. And then I guess it's just click, click. Some data files are not mapped, please. It's six. So I have to select the matches entity next. Map fields. Uh, I guess that's correct. Next. 
allow duplicates no i'm the owner submit and finish so import world cup game so now we are here so we've done all these steps and now we're here no important matches we've done it now we are we are we are here import world cup game power apps package so we go back in there now we have to make sure that the environment is the one that we just created which in this case it is select apps and then import package upload and then power apps my lord i'm guessing that's the one it is uploading i'll pause it so we have the package there click import again and we wait for it to import and then it says all packages resources were successfully imported click on apps in the left pane and look at the application click on and click edit make sure the application loads in power apps studio without any issues and ask for the following permissions so it's going to ask permissions for the common data service this this cds and the op365 which is doing it fantastic allow Check the application as all data sources are shown below. Uh, skip. Oh, that's so cool. I don't remember what the data sources are. View data sources. So it's matches, rounds, feeds, game users. Yes, 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 yes. Go to file save us oh that's so cool an app with this name already exists choose different name yeah so it's just save it and share did i publish the app So now assign, we've done that, and then now it says assign uh, security roles to users. The common data service for apps uses a role-based security model. So we have to get access to it. We have to go to the environment again, select the environment. This is our CDS Kerbal. Um, we have to go to security uh, users. We have to add, I guess, myself. So it says uh, requested, submitted, assign security roles. And I have, um, let's see how we do that. I just click on this one, select the user, assign common data service. How? Dynamic 365. Um, okay. That was not it. Okay, so this step we forgot. You click on here and then you click manage roles. And then you assign the common data service and game players to that user, in this case to myself. And select okay we've done it and now share the app with your colleagues okay so you should be live let's see 
Okay, so let's start this power apps thing and see how that works. Uh, we start the app. I've already logged in, by the way. Uh, these are all my apps. Here at the bottom, World Cup Prediction Game. It says swipe to the left to close app. Okay. Check this out. This is gorgeous. <gasps> okay, let's see. Uh, select the winner and runner for each of the eight groups. So group, let's say Uruguay and Russia. For group B, of course, Spain, sorry, and Portugal. No other. Group C. <laughs> And now for the quarterfinals, you just pick a winner, and I guess you just click on them. So we're going to click Spain. Well, well okay, anyhow, you see how this works. Um, and uh, contest rules, I don't know, nothing shows up here. But, but you can see that everything works. It took like, what, 10 minutes to install everything? That's fantastic. Make sure you install it. Start playing. The games are starting very soon. So much fun. Okay, so how amazing was that? Not was it only easy to install. The app was absolutely gorgeous. Really easy to use, especially on mobile. I mean, uh, what else can we want? This, that is like 10 times better than Excel, right? So make sure you install it, share it with your colleagues, share it with your friends, with your family, so you can start betting on Power BI. And you can follow this course, of course, in my Power BI report. When is that going to be ready? I'll try to get it ready by tomorrow. So tomorrow will be another Power BI report video. If not, it will be done by Friday, so one day late. But hopefully tomorrow. So instead of me talking here, how about I go and sit and do it and finish it for tomorrow. Take care. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.